Hi, welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah, I'm going to answer the question, what is DK yarn? Hi, welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah, I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. I'm here every Tuesday with more videos, with explanations, with demos, answering your questions. Do subscribe if you'd like to be notified. Hit the little bell as well so that you will be told when there's a new video up for you every Tuesday, every week. Now today I'm answering the question, what is DK yarn? I'm sure we all know what yarn is, but let's get a bit more specific. I've got four points I'd like to talk to you about DK yarn. And I'm gonna show you at the end what I like to make best when I'm using DK yarn. Okay, first thing is that DK is double knitting. Now, we're going back, way, way back to the early days of knitting, when knitting was described as yarn and it was graded differently. So we had knitting wool, we had double knitting wool, we had triple knitting wool, and as we got bigger and bigger and bigger, it was called double, double knitting yarn. But very simply, that is the only one, that is the only term that has caught on and we've kept on using it. It's a simple way to say it's twice the thickness of a thinner yarn. The second thing is that a DK yarn is also described as eight ply yarn. Plies describes the number of fibres that make up, that are spun together to make the yarn. You will find DK yarns that aren't eight ply anymore. You will find more interesting yarns that have four plies, that have six plies, that have two plies. It doesn't matter so much anymore that the standard is so set. Not all yarns will have the correct number of plies, but all yarns that are described as and sold as DK yarns will be set by the manufacturer to be the correct weight. That means it's the correct thickness. So you don't have to worry so much about looking so closely at the yarns. This is a standard that was set many years ago, just as the standard was set when we started calling it double knitting. So it doesn't matter quite so much anymore, but it's an interesting fact. The third point is that DK yarn is a thinner weight yarn. It is a thin weight yarn that I would suggest you don't start knitting with as a beginner. I suggest you start knitting with Aran and Chunky weight yarns. They are medium to thick weight yarns. You will see what you're doing more easily, you will understand the stitches and be able to gather what you're doing much more easily. With DK yarns, you can do finer work and it isn't as fine as you might say, knit a lace shawl for Downton Abbey. You're getting to a really fine lace weight then. But in that respect, it's thinner, it's finer than your average medium weight yarn. The fourth point is that DK yarn generally uses four millimeter needles. That is an industry standard. You will find DK weight yarns that use four millimeter needles and patterns that use four millimeter needles and 3.25 millimeter needles. Very rarely will be you be using anything else. If you're planning to knit for more than a few months, you are bound to come across something that you want to knit in this thinner weight yarn. And I suggest very strongly that you pick up some four millimeter needles from somewhere because it is very likely that you will be using them at some point. So now I'm going to show you what I like to knit when I'm using DK yarn. And I find it works best if I'm knitting small projects and they include things like this. These lovely fingerless mittens. It's a small project, it's a slightly finer detail and I can really see the full benefit of using a thinner weight yarn. These would look great in chunky, but I do believe that these look great in a thinner weight yarn. I also love knitting baby hats in DK yarn. Again, you can get a finer detail, and as it's a smaller item, you can actually really benefit from using a thinner yarn. For example, if you're knitting a stripy hat, you will get more stripes in it if you're using a thinner weight yarn. If I was to knit this same size hat in a chunky yarn, I certainly would only have 
maybe five or six stripes before I'd finished knitting the hat altogether. So I really do think there's a benefit in that. And I also suggest if you're learning to knit with fair isle or stranded colour techniques, that DK is a great way to start that. It's thicker than you would normally find for fair isle knitting. If you're knitting um, a Norwegian style fair isle, stranded colour yarn, colour patterns, then by all means go chunky and you really will see what you're doing. But if you want to see fine pattern, then DK yarn is a great way to start learning your colour stranding. There you are, so that is the patterns that I love to knit with DK yarn. Thank you for joining me today, I hope this has been helpful. You have all the knowledge you need to know now about DK yarn. Do subscribe and click on like if you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for being here, I will see you again next week. The video comes out every Tuesday. Bye for now, happy knitting. Thank you.